Hey, what's up guys? Phil here with Transfer Superstars. On today's video, we're going to be covering onesies and toddler tees. Now, there's not a lot of content on YouTube or online regarding how to decorate these products. So we're going to go ahead and give you an in-depth look into these products. What we're going to be using is a brand called Rabbit Tees. Rabbit Skins, I'm sorry. We've actually used Bella Canvas before. We prefer Rabbit Skins. We think that is a more premium item. The product that we're actually using, it's going to be a Rabbit Skins 4400 for the uh, onesie and for the t-shirt it's going to be the 3321. Now a couple of things that you want to keep in mind when you're going to be decorating these items is to make sure that you guys are sizing this correctly. Don't always base their numbers on what the description shows online. I'm going to give you guys an example. So online when you're checking out the, the rabbit skins it does show that the width is going to be a uh, seven and a quarter for the newborns and so if you did seven and a quarter here it's going to be way too big for the newborn tee so you definitely want to size a bit lower what we went ahead and did is a four and a half that fits the onesie much better that fits the newborn in particular much better so for the onesies it actually comes in five different sizes and we went ahead and split up our graphics into two different sizes the newborn and the six months is going to be a four and a half inch in width. And then we went with a five inch or a six inch design for the 12 months, 18 months and 24 month onesie. So the color that we chose here is the garnet color. And again, it's from rabbit skins. So what we're going to do is heat press our designs on these taller tees. We're going to be using a heat press pillow. You need one of these, especially when it comes to the onesie because it has it has seams on the side, so you want to make sure, and it also has buttons, so you want to make sure that you use a pillow so that the surface is nice and even for you to heat press and peel. So let's go ahead and dive in and uh, get one of these done. So I'm going to start off with the newborn tee. This is the graphic that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be setting our heat press on at 300 degrees, heavy pressure and we're gonna be pressing for seven seconds. Now, this brand carries 100% cotton and it also carries a uh, poly cotton blend. So depending on the color, that is the blend that you're gonna get. Most of our transfers were able to press at 300 degrees, so that doesn't make much of a difference for us. And it also has an easy tear label, so keep that in mind. You know, if newborns are, are not comfortable with the tag, it's a, it's a simple paper tag that you can just tear off. So that's a nice feature as well. So I have the heat press set. I have the onesie with the pillow attached. This is a transfer that I'm going to be using. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be pretty much uh, placing our transfers about a half an inch to an inch above the armpit line. So that's where we're going to be placing this. We have our heat press. This is a, this is a Geonite 16 by 20. I have my microfiber cloth. I'm going to use the cloth to do a quick rub down on the transfer. I'm going to hold this garment down and I'm going to peel. We're going to flip this over, reverse it, place it down, and we're going to do a second press. Take a look at that. So the next thing that we're going to be doing is we're going to be pressing on the toddler tee. This is going to be a size two. Now, whenever you're pressing your shirts, you always want to measure with the smallest, smallest shirt. You don't want to measure with the biggest shirt because if you size your graphic based off the biggest shirt, and you move on to the smaller shirt, then it might go over. So always measure with the smallest tee that you have available. So you always also need to purchase the shirt so that you can get the correct measurements of the transfer. And because this is a t-shirt, I'm not, and 
and it doesn't have any buttons or any buckles or anything that's going to pop out, I'm just I'm able to press this without the use of a heat press pillow. Same temperature, same pressure. Grab the corner, peel. Flip it around and do that second press. There you go, take a look at that. So another nice thing about the rabbit skins is that it has 85 colors. So there's a ton of colors available. You can definitely decorate a bunch of things on here. And what we really also like about the rabbit skin onesies is that it has plastic, it has plastic buttons so you can actually remove it with one hand instead of the metal, the metal buttons. So that's also a nice feature. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys found this video helpful, especially decorating your onesies or your toddler tees. Again, there's not a lot of information out there. So thanks again for watching. I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you guys hit subscribe. Make sure you guys hit like. I'll catch you guys on that next one.